Hi, Dr. King Owen here. And we've just had our first set of multiple choice questions. So I would like to debrief a little bit with you about that experience, what you can uh, take from it, and how you can think about moving ahead in the future. Please ignore my braces, which are making it hard to talk. So hopefully I don't mess up and flub my words too much. Some things to keep in mind about um, the multiple choice and the scoring of all tests in my class. I use the AP scale and I don't curve or change that score in any way so that you will consistently understand your performance relative to what the College Board expects. Now, of course, many of you would think, oh my gosh, my grades are going to be tanked. They're going to be terrible uh, because I, you know, I got a three out of six on a long essay question. And you won't, because in order to combat that uh, effect on your grades, I have the other grades that I give you, the other projects, the other assignments, the other assessments, to help balance that out. Um, people who um, stick it out in A-Push in April and May end up with A's and B's in the course. They end up fine, because I'm not going to let the tests uh, tank your score. In fact, my goal in all of this is to create an environment which you feel comfortable to take a risk, that you feel okay with the idea that you are going to, you know, not play it safe, um, that you're going to stretch yourself and that you're going to grow and get better. And I'm going to protect you um, from feeling like that will lead to horrible consequences. Um, so don't fret about your GPA. Um, you'll be fine there. The next thing I want you to consider is that this is a process. You know, you will grow over time. If you got it all right here at the beginning, then I wouldn't have anything to offer you. In fact, I'd say, it looks like you already are an excellent student of U.S. history. Let's move you on to something else. So you need to accept the fact that, you know, you're going to struggle a bit. And this is the first set of multiple choice. We haven't had a multiple choice test yet. So um, don't sort of measure that against, well, I always did well on them before, or in AP World I did well. Well, this is an AP World, this is APUSH. And so the, the scope of the course is much narrower, the focus of the questions is much narrower. Give yourself some grace to say, okay, I didn't do well this time, but I will do better next time. I will keep growing. I will get better. It's going to be fine. And in the process of doing that, ask yourself, what can I do better the next time? Is it how you're reading those questions? Um, so maybe it's a reading strategy issue. Is it how you are studying? Maybe your study strategies do not match what psychological science tells us we should be doing when we study. And if you need help with any of that, I'm happy to sit down with you and talk it through. Um, I'd be more than happy to go through a set of questions with you. That'll give me a chance to see how your brain thinks, how you're reading, how you're processing. And then I can tell you some things that you could do in response that would improve your um, test taking approach. Um, you can also do this um, on your own once the questions are released. And that um, is another issue that I want to address. Because we had to do this testing online, thanks to our um, hybrid setup, I had to create a set of questions that I could release publicly, that I'd be fine with being out there. And I had to be careful about copyright issues because um, the College Board owns their own questions. Um, and Doing so was about 35 hours of work, of, of writing, generating material, coding the questions in Canvas, um, attaching them to um, the AP curriculum framework so I could analyze the data. It, it's an exhaustive process. So at the moment, I don't have a Form B for that um, because it would be another 35 hours of generating material. Uh, in order to even try to do a retake or to give you a second chance. But I can offer you, as soon as everyone has taken the test, the chance to go back and look at your questions. Um, so you could see and study and figure out what you did. Um, 
I'm willing to bet, in fact, that you'll look at many of the questions the second time around and think, oh my God, I knew that answer. Why did I pick the wrong answer? Um, and the other thing you will probably say is I got down to the two right choices and I just happened to pick the less right of the two. So I'm betting that's what's going to happen when you do your analysis of your own performance on the test. And I'd be happy to guide you and walk you through that experience. So keep in mind as we're moving forward to extend some grace to yourself, you're going to be fine. It will get better. It's a process. You will grow slowly over time. Um, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you figure out what's going on and how you can improve and get better. Um, so just remember um, your first time out in this arena of something that's very difficult, you may not have done well, but where you start is not where you're going to end up. And I look forward to seeing where you will be in May when you take this AP exam and you feel like it is much more doable and easy and you're going to crush it because you worked hard to build your skills all year. So I thank you for your time and I wish you uh, the best as we continue to grow and move forward. Have a good one.